Good evening, Richmond County, and welcome to your Monday edition of Live at Five. I'm Russell Parker, and today I am being joined by the Richmond Community Theater Director, Mary Dawkins. How are you doing today, Mary? I am doing well, Russell. So I hear you guys have just opened up a new play at the theater, and you guys got some upcoming shows this week for it as well. Yes, we do. Our play that we are doing, we opened last week, and we will continue this week beginning again on Thursday, um, is Always a Bridesmaid. It's a really super um, hilariously funny um, play written by the awesome team of um, um, Jones, Hope, and Wooten. They do a lot of um, basically southern comedy plays. A lot of them have to do with women. Um, they're used a lot in community theaters. They're very popular. So we chose it, and um, we will open again on Thursday at 7.30, then Friday at 7.30, Saturday at 7.30, and then Sunday afternoon at 3. The show lasts a little under three hours. I mean, excuse me. Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh, no. mm. A little under two hours with a 15-minute intermission. We also sell um, concessions. Um, inside the theater if you're if you get thirsty or want a little snack. Um, we the box office opens at six o'clock and runs through seven thirty. Um, if the weather's nice we'll be outside of the theater. If it's not we'll be inside of the theater and you can either call the theater and make a reservation and the people at the box office will hear your message and call you back, or you can um, stop by the theater and make your reservation, or you can go to our Facebook, excuse me, our um, website, which is www.richmondcommunitytheater, um, and that's all the or case letters, and theater ends with a R-E, not an E-R. <laughs> um, dot org, and you'll have all the information you need if you want to order your tickets online. So, so I think if you guys had a three-hour show, I think it would still be worth coming to. Cause you guys put on some really cool prompts. <laughs> I really hope so. <laughs> so, cool. you guys, um, so tell us a little bit about what the play is. Okay. Um, this play um, centers around four women who when they were seniors in high school, they didn't have dates to the prom. They got a little bit tipsy and vowed to um, always be in each other's, to be bridesmaids in each other's wedding. And they kept that promise. And they kept that promise. And they kept that promise. And when they were well into their 50s, they were still keeping that promise. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's hilarious. There is the, um, the lady who runs the, um, the event um, place where they have the weddings. Um, her name is um, Fidalia, and she is a force to reckon with, and she's funny. And then um, the narrator of the story is actually the daughter of one of the ladies and she it, she's doing her wedding toast and different parts of her wedding toast she rem, rem, reminisces back to the um, other weddings now, and she's played by Savannah Hook which this is doing a wonderful job. Savannah's mother Darla um, Lovin plays Libby Ruth who is, um, she's kind of the mother hen of the group. Mm -hmm. She's sort of, you know, she's a peacemaker and she wants everything to be right and that's kind of who Libby Ruth is. And then there is Monette and she's a, um, she's a sex bomb of the group. <laughs> and she is hilarious. And she is played by Angie Rush, who is, um, <laughs> Angie's got Monette down to a T. In fact, they all had their characters down to a T. And then um, Deidre, who is a judge in Washington, um, is played by Val Jean um, Hargrove, and she is very professional, but she's also a hoot. 
And the last one is Charlie. And Charlie is the um, the earth nut of the group. The, um, the tree hugger, the hippie, she is a landscape designer. She's um, quite, a, a, she's hysterical also. She's played by um, Allison Smith. I'm just telling you people, you are in for a night of laughter. Is it a feel good play? One of the reasons that we chose it was because, you know, times are not always good, easy and good for all of us. And we're kind of going through some interesting times right now. So we thought it would be fun to, let's just give you something where you get to sit back, relax, have a good time. It's a, it's a play for guys, so don't think it's not. But it's also a good mother-daughter experience. It's a good girls' night out experience. Um, it's just a fun, fun, fun time. Sounds like it would be. Um, I know we just came off of Mother's Day. Uh, you guys have a good turnout for a mother duo type of going on for that. Yeah, we didn't have it Mother's Day. We had it the, okay. the week, you know, that Saturday. But we had that Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We did. We had quite a few um, mother daughters um, to come out, or maybe the mothers that had daughters in the play came out <laughs> to support their daughters. You know. Um, so it, it's been a lot, a lot of fun. It's been a lot of um, good support from the community, which we always appreciate because we would not be here if it was not for you. That's why we're Richmond Community Theater and you are the reason that we're here. So we appreciate you. So uh, asking about the, uh, you know, we've just come off of a pandemic for the past couple of years yeah. now. So is there any restrictions, everything, how's everything looking for that? Um, we have gone by the CDC and the city of Walkingham's um, guidelines because we are a city young building and I'm actually a city employee so yes we have been doing that but now that those have been lifted we're um, you don't have to wear a mask um, you, if you feel more comfortable wearing a mask please do please do we don't want to keep anybody away um, if you have some concerns if you will call the theater and let us know what your concerns are. Hopefully we can help you through those concerns. So that's where we are right now. All right. And so I guess full capacity for the theater then? That would be wonderful. <laughs> um, full capacity is 142 seats. So we did, the, this past week we did a good house, which is the main floor, and then a scattering in the balcony really 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 hoping because i promise you people i absolutely guarantee it you will not want to miss this play if you just want to come and have a good time you need to come and these these ladies and actually our whole crew have worked so hard to present you this absolutely fabulously funny play you are not going to want to miss it Sounds like a fun time, and uh, you you were my preschool teacher when I was a kid, and uh, I know you entertained us a lot back then, so I know if you're involved in entertaining someone, I know it's going to be a good time, so uh, definitely come out, and Thursday is the first show this week, and then you have some going on throughout the weekend as well? Right. Yes, yes. All so, right. Um, please, you know, some of the local businesses do have our um, our posters out, you can, um, so you can look at that. This is what um, our playbill looks like. Um, I'd also like to just put a, um, a shout out for our crew because um, Mary um, O'Kelly does lights and Keenan, um, um, gosh, Keenan, I apologize, Keenan, my brain's gone right this minute. <laughs> um, let me, um, Keenan Cartman Howell is our sound person and he is absolutely fabulous. Pat Hearing designed our sound for us. Um, Lou Cleveland is our stage manager and our costumer and in some cases our hairdresser and just extraordinary person to have in the theater. And our interns are Kennedy Hargrove and um, Lily Wilson and Autumn Shepherd, and we couldn't do any of this without them. And our main usher is, is, is um, oh gosh, I, keep, I can't talk and sing at the same time, people. Uh, <laughs> it's our, um, it's a phenomenal um, Noah Goodman. Um, 
he is to use one of my interns too and he's a super cool person so yeah without these people we also wouldn't be able to do it and without the board of directors and their support we also wouldn't be able to, be able to do it so um yeah please come out we have also when the play is over um we have um our family improv night which is um may the 21st at 6 p.m in the theater it's about an hour it's free it's a fun time to be out have a good time with the family and then we've got um young people's theater coming up in june so. lots of fun stuff going on for the we community do. theater We're for the community to really get this thing yeah. going after covid all right well a uh, great lineup you guys got going on this weekend definitely i encourage everyone to go out and enjoy it um sounds like it'll be a lot of fun this weekend definitely something to do uh, i know it's kind of a little bit of a wet weekend perhaps but uh you're We're gonna dry. be indoors yeah so you don't have to worry about that so come on out to the michigan community theater thursday friday saturday and sunday for their show so miss mary thanks for coming on today russell thank you very much and let me just say i'm so proud of him <laughs> and if you want to read two good books he's got two good books out <laughs> appreciate it all right folks when we come back we've got your regular news report as well as your weather report it's coming up after the breaks so stay tuned Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Two men are facing charges related to the burglary of a local gun store last week. The Rockingham Police Department announced on Monday the arrest of 18-year-old Kowali Harley and 20-year-old James Paul Fairley, both of Rockingham, who are accused of breaking into the ammo shack on East Broad Avenue early in the morning of May 4th. According to police, multiple guns were stolen from the business. Both were booked into Rich County Jail early in the morning on May 7th, records show. Fairley is charged with 16 counts each of larceny of a firearm and possession of a stolen firearm, and one count each of breaking and entering possession of burglary tools and felony conspiracy. Records show Fairley was also served with an order for arrest for failure to appear in court on a felony. He is being held on a combined $510,000 secured bond. Harley is charged with 16 counts of larceny of a firearm in possession of a stolen firearm, two counts of breaking and entering, and one count each of possession of burglary tools, felony conspiracy, and injury to real property. He is being held on a half a million dollar secured bond. The majority of the new Richmond soccer practice field came together in just under four hours on Saturday. Nearly 50 volunteers helped unload three dozen pallets of sod on the 40 by 50 yard field, turning a field of topsoil into a soon to be usable soccer pitch. Spearheading the project was head coach Chris Larson, along with former head coach Benny Howard. The two have planned and saved the program's money for years to make the new addition a reality. Larson said the next step is to water the field and maintain it over the next couple weeks to ensure the sod grows properly. He anticipates it will be ready to use by the end of the summer leading up to the fall season for the boys team. The recognition of the Lady Raiders soccer team's senior players have waited a couple of days as Friday's originally scheduled senior night match was postponed due to potential for severe weather. According to the National Weather Service, Rich County was under a tornado watch on Friday. Richmond Senior Athletic Director Rob Ransom and Head Coach Chris Larson confirmed the postponement 
with the Richmond Observer event. The Lady Raiders will now see their final regular season conference match played at home tonight. Richmond will host Scotland at 6 p.m. When we return, we'll get your live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. And welcome to your live by Weather Report, Rich County. Hope your Mother's Day weekend went well out there for all the mothers, aunts, grandmothers, and such. Hopefully it was all wonderful for you all. And uh, looking at today, we've seen really nice weather. Wasn't quite as good from some days of the weekend, but the day has been a change of pace for sure. And we're looking at tonight, and we're still looking really nice. 69 degrees at 6 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 56, clear skies all day long. And we'll have sunset at 8, 10 p.m. with a first quarter moon phase out tonight as well. Looking at tomorrow, same set of conditions, sunny skies. We'll get back into the 70s still. Uh, we'll have the lows for 50. It was a little bit chilly on Sunday for sure, but the day and tomorrow is looking to warm up quite a bit. Uh, Cumberland County, a high of 71, a low of 54. Hope County, a high of 72 and a low of 53. Over in Robeson County, a high of 74 and a low of 54. Here in Scotland, or excuse me, here in Richmond, will be a high of 73 and a low of 53. Up in Moore County, a high of 72, low of 52. Down in Marble County, a high of 75 and a low of 54. And across the PD in Anson County, a high of 73 and a low of 53. Now looking at the seven-day forecast, we do get some chances of rain popping up later on this weekend. But before, before we get to that, we'll be seeing some cloudy skies in the area with some sunshine as well. Tuesday, a high of 73, low of 53. Then on Wednesday, sunny skies continuing on. High of 75, low of 55. 70s will carry on into Thursday with party cloudy weather. High of 71, low of 62. And while we'll be seeing temperatures start to warm back up a little bit more on Friday, we do have a 70% chance of thunderstorms. So once again, another Friday of severe weather perhaps coming up into play. High of 75, low of 63. And then on Saturday, we do see the chances of rain drop down to a 60% chance. No thunderstorms uh, for that day, but rain still present. High of 78, low of 65. And then on Sunday, a 4% chance just for the afternoon. High of 85 and a low of 67. We're going to warm back up pretty good for the start of next week with Monday at a high of 84 and a low of 62 with party cloudy weather. And that is going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.